Hey grillers, Brad here from BB Grill Shack. Today I'm going to be giving you a review of my Charbroil Performance 4 Burner Grill. It's pretty cool. Um, I really, I've really enjoyed it. I've had it about a year, so this is about a one year review. Um, I had some family move back in from out of town and they kind of got rid of all their stuff. So I'm going to give this to them today. So um, I wanted to get a quick, you know, performance review on it before I handed it over. So it's a little bit sprinkly. We're going to make it work. One of the things I like about this grill is the aesthetic of it, how it's all stainless except for the shelves and the legs. Even this front panel down here is really nice and stainless. I actually built this grill um, last year. It took about 45 minutes to an hour to build. It wasn't that big a deal. And I was actually really impressed with the quality of the joints that hold the, the shelves on. Um, they used what are called rivet nuts, which should be plenty strong, you know, to hold stuff up. And I've put plenty of stuff on the shelves themselves. Never had an issue with them. All right, so as you guys can see, it's got a side burner, which I haven't used that often. I've used it a couple times. It works actually really well. And then it's got four burners on the inside, along with uh, cast iron grates and a little rack on top for heating, you know, corn or bread up. It's got some nice thick cast iron grates. And down there you can see the, uh, the little protectors for the gas tubes. Um, those also give off a lot of good flavor when, you know, meat fat hits them. And the, down in the very bottom there, there's a cover over the grease pan. So this grill is a little bit dirty, but like I said, I've had it for a year. It's held up really well. Um, there's no rust that I can find outside of maybe, you know, around um, like this little hole. There might be a little bit. But besides that, there's no rust as far as I can tell. Over here on the left side, it's got a single burner which is just kind of a, a simple burner. It lights up with the same ignition switch as all the rest of the burners. I've used it a few times, it gets really hot, um, so it works really well. If there's one thing I kind of didn't like about this grill, it's that it doesn't get super hot. I'll show you guys a comparison I did where I heated it up and took some temps off the grill. Um, it gets plenty hot to cook most things, but it doesn't really get hot enough to maybe sear a steak or something like that. Another thing I don't really like is like the, uh, the thermometer. It's never really accurate, but as we know, they're rarely accurate anyways when they're that high up away from the grate, so not a game changer. The push button ignition is really nice. Um, it works really well. It's really slick. I'll show you guys real quick. Let's see if we can get the spark. You might be able to hear it. Basically, you just put a double A battery in there and it works great. And here you can see where the gas connection is. Um, there's just like a little pocket where the propane tank sits in. Works really well. So on this grill you access the grease pan from the back. I'll give you guys a little show of that. It comes right out. You, you can see there's quite a bit of grease in there. So it's time to clean this one out. Um, but yeah, it just comes right out the back pretty easy. Figured I'd give you guys a shot of the backside while I'm back here. It's all nice and black. You can see there's no rust. Um, it's got this stabilizer bar which really helps out with the stability of it. Here's the little, here's one of the little riv nuts I was talking about that holds the shelf on. Um, here's another one. If you can see that, those are pretty sturdy connections, so that's good. And then these little screws all hold the uh, the gas bars on, and those are pretty sturdy connection as well. So overall, for the price of this grill, it's a really really good grill, and I would really recommend it to anybody. So I dropped the grill off last night at its final resting place and we had a, uh, we made one last meal on it. Made some chicken breast cutlets and some short ribs. 
It was really good. Um, I'm sad to see the grill go. If you guys are in that price range, 250 to 300 bucks for a gas grill, I can't recommend the charbroil enough. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's it's great bang for your buck, you know. So thanks for watching. Um, if you guys like this, please like, please subscribe. Check out my website, www.bbgrillshack.com, and follow me on social media at bbgrillshack. Also, uh, I want to continue to do some reviews, so let me know in the comments, uh, what do you want to see reviewed? You know, is there a grill, a smoker, thermometer, something like that? Let me know. See you guys later.